Hello from Tbilisi, Georgia, where we are diving right in and having their national dish of Adaruli Kachapuri. This is like one of the very few things I do know about Georgia is this delicious cheesy bread. Now, Kachapuri means, I think, any kind of cheese bread, but the kind from this place, Adaruli, I don't know what the place is called. Anyway, is the really famous one, the like cheese boat, where they roll it out, they fill it with cheese. Ours has two types, they stick it in, wood-fired pizza oven, then he put an egg on top, and then right before serving, a massive chunk of butter. Uh, it looks delicious. We actually got to Tbilisi a few days ago. We had a really delicious meal at a place called Shabi Lomi, and then yesterday we spent most of the day going on a food tour. So if you want to see that, that's the video we released just before this one. This one's gonna just be us exploring Tbilisi, trying to do some things other than just eat, but honestly, it's not our strong suit. Do you know how you eat this actually, Hayes? You take bits off like you did, and then you take the crust off, and then you dip it in all of this ooey, gooey, delicious eggy cheese. They make spoon and bread. One more thing, this guy has like a garbage can sized tub of cheese that he's just been sitting there like crumbling by hand. And, and the eggy little table under the big bowl. He's not wrong. I found this place by watching Mark Ween's video. He was on a tour with Culinary Backstreets, which is one of our favorite sources. And then our guy George from our last video also recommended it. Seems legit. We ordered a big one, which was like 22, so about $7. We managed it all, but we're very full. Ketchup. Ketchup for We've come to the old town to this clock tower, which before I read about it, I thought it was like an ancient thing. It turns out it was built in 2011. This is a puppet theater, and the guy that built the puppet theater added this clock tower in 2011. Um, and at noon and at 7 p.m., puppets come out the hole, so that's what we're waiting for. We've also seen a lot of people walking up to this. The tiniest, tiniest clock that is pretty close to 12, which is when we're going to hopefully see some puppets. Why did they even come out of there? They're not coming yet. No, no, no! That, that freaked me out. Don't let go of me like that. He said it wasn't enough for him. He wants more. He wants more puppets. It's quite short. It's quite short, but it's, it's cool. I love this kind of stuff that just happens once a day, right? Twice. Oh. Seven. This afternoon we've taken the funicular up to Matsminda Park, um, which a couple of locals told us was like a very local thing to do. It's a beautiful park, great views of Tbilisi. It's also scattered with like pretty random old school Amusement park rides. Hayes is very happy. Most of the rides are closed. It's November, but it, it feels like September. Um, most of the rides are closed. Hayes stumbled upon this ghost castle and wanted to do it. It's like a haunted house ride. The thing about this park is the park's from 1905. I think the theme park's from 1938. There's a lot of similarities with uh, Rock City. It's mostly just like day glow, scary, like very realistic, not realistic at all. Oh. <laughs> not realistic, but like instead of like ghosts and mummies, there was like a dead person being tortured on the table, but like very unrealistic in execution. Uh, very few of them moved. The conundrum is that I read there was like a philanthropist or something that pumped a bunch of money into this in 2007 and there was like tombstones that said 2007 which would indicate that the ride is from or was remodeled in 2007 but I promise everything inside was, was screaming 1930s. I think not my finest parenting decision. It's your bedtime tonight so he doesn't go to sleep. Does your head fit in it? Well it does but like I'm worried that it might get caught in it and then I might be stuck in there. I must say I feel pretty 
lucky that all of these rides are closed because we didn't fully understand that this was like a full-fledged theme park. We have done our theme park of the trip and that was Legoland. No more for a while. Uh, George, our guide from yesterday, told us when we come up to this park that we should have ponchiki, which are donuts. Uh, so we are at this vernacular restaurant up here with an amazing view. It's golden hour, the sun is setting. I brought in a glass of Georgian white wine. We're about to go to dinner. <laughs> Who cares? Oh, it's hot. It's really hot. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's good. Normally, when you have like a custard donut, it's not that, it's not that hot. It's kind of... Oh, it's custard donut? It? Yeah. Well, I like a cream. Cream. You wanna wait for it to cool down? Mm. So after Sunset Donuts, it's time for dinner, and I feel like you can tell when a cuisine is good, when you've had something, you already want to eat it again. We had King Kali on our tour yesterday. We wanted to have it again. This place is like a little bit trendy. I read about it in Conde Nast. I'm not sure it's our vibe, but the cool thing about this place and why I would recommend it before I've even tasted it is you can order one King Kali at a time when usually, uh, when you order King Kali, you have to order at least five. So we're able to try more without eating tons and tons of King Kali. So it's handy for that. We have uh, cheese and potato, mushroom, Beef and pork with herbs and just beef. These are really good. And uh, oh. By the way, King Kali are Georgian dumplings and they are amazing. If you want to learn more about them, check out our other video where we did this incredible food tour. Where he didn't eat any of them, so this is really uh, exciting. I got a cheese and potato one here and it's great. Like Steph said, being able to order more varieties is really great. What is that that you built? It's a clock tower. Yeah, what happens in it? And they ring the bell. And the puppets come out. Good night. Oh. It's okay, Evidently, Tbilisi actually means a warm place because of the sulfur springs that run through it. This morning, we've come to the bathhouse district because there's public baths, but there's also private sulfur baths. Forget the name of this area, and because of the brick dome structures, I don't have any data, but it's near the old town. Super famous. All right, I'm gonna give you a tour of our private sulfur bath. First, we've got this massive changing room here. I love these rooms. Like a cool skylight up to the top. Haze is already getting going. Uh, then you come into here, and this is where I guess you can take your showers. Yep, you can take a shower. Ooh. You can, uh, oh, these aren't warm, but you can relax in these. This I think that's where you get your scrub. Oh, that's where you get your scrubs. I'm not going to do a scrub today, but um, just I love the shape of these dumb rooms. More skylights. All right, and then here is where you've got the bath. Oh, Look at this. Is, so there's two baths. You've got a hot one, which is obviously that hot sulfur water, and then a cold one. And that is like my absolute favorite. It's where you go from hot I to cold. It. It's super hot, super, super hot. And then you keep doing that back and forth. It's so great. It's this so one is warm. Yeah. So that one would be nice just for like lying out. But yeah. I mean, we got this for an hour, and it's like around 40 bucks for an hour. It's pretty cool. So I think I figured the Georgians out. You drink a bunch of cha-cha, you eat King Kali late at night when you're drunk, you wake up the next morning and you get to eat kachapuri as your hangover meal, and then you can come sweat it all out at a sulfur bath. Is that right? Because that is 100% what we would do. Your body actually gets used to the heat after a while. I found that when you get too hot in this one, you obviously go cool off in there. And then when you get too cold in there, come back in here. But weirdly, this didn't then feel as hot. I could do this all day. This is me here. It's me, hey, my dear, but we're trying this podcast. But this or truck. Lunchtime, we're eating it. It looks like very cute 
little traditional place in the basement around the corner from where we're staying, and we're having the chicken we had the first night again. Schmerkuli, Schmeruli, Schmeruli. It's like fried chicken covered in like a garlic cream sauce. Hello, we're eating here at there, and, the, and we're eating some chicken and some of, and some of this, and, the, and we're playing with some Legos. Goodbye, love you. Did you see that she used an abacus to uh, work out our bill at the end? I didn't. I saw her bring it to the other table. I, I, I don't think I've ever had anyone in a restaurant work out the bill by an abacus. It was pretty cool. For our afternoon activity, we've come to Deserter Bazaar, the main like big market in Tbilisi, and we have a follower on Instagram, Christy, I believe is her name. She's a Georgian living in New York, and she told us to try whatever these are. They're like walnuts or hazelnuts covered in like fruit, Cody? Which Ch ones do you want? What was the name again? How do you say? Chuchella. Ch 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 <laughs> what kind do you want? Uh, I think I want the walnuts with, yeah, like the cherry one maybe. Pomegranate. Pomegranate, that's it, sorry. And should we try a hazelnut? Let's do, let's do one of each. Oh, it's tough, isn't it? Try it, buddy, again. Oh, should I try? Mmm. Oh, it's like a string inside it. Mmm. That's good. Not huge on the pomegranate flavor, but I love walnuts. Oh, great. Thanks, Christy. Try and bite right here. And then, like, pull it off with your teeth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that fish is saying. What's that fish saying? Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, mommy, what's that? Very lovely. Actually, there's a can next to a mile down the road from the market. I don't know the name of this neighborhood, but it's on what they call the left bank, which is confusing because it's the east side of the river, is this place called Fabrica. And it's like co-working space, vintage shops, restaurants. I think there's a hotel. Um, and it's very, very cool. So we stopped. Mommy, don't forget there's, see, there's rooms up there. There's rooms up there. I mean, it looks like, I need to look what this building was, obviously something industrial, but we stopped to get a passion fruit milkshake for Hayes, and then there was a lovely little natural wine bar, one of those places that's like so cool that I was very timid to film. It's just a really lovely space, and this neighborhood seems pretty like cool and funky too. Yes. We've come to this place called Kikliko, which is also the name of what's essentially like Georgian French toast, but it's savory. And I'm a savory breakfast person, so it's like eggy bread in the UK. Um, we also got one with ham and cheese, and then we got a caramel one for Hayes. But this place, I think we're in the Vera neighborhood. It was so adorable. We almost didn't find it because it's like hidden behind all this greenery in this like kind of residential street. It's very cool inside, super small, super small menu. Um, this is another one from Culinary Backstreets, which is a resource we use anytime we're in one of the cities that they cover. It's really cute. We didn't get coffees at breakfast. How dirty is this? It's so dirty. We didn't get coffees at breakfast because of this place we're going now. Our friend recommended this place because they draw your portrait on the coffee cup. How cool is that? Yeah, you probably have to do your face still. What color are your eyes? What would you say, Mummy? Gray? Gray. Blue, gray. H-A-Y-S. H-A-Y-S. Yeah. H-A-Y-S. Do you like it? Wow. <laughs> Cheers. 
coffee. We got our coffees, and she's a very good artist. Very good in uh, making us more attractive than we are in real life. <laughs> I like this other version of myself. Yeah. <laughs> I look like a supermodel. That coffee shop's right across the street from the MoMA Tbilisi, the Modern Art Museum, so we figured we'd go have a look. It's a little bit cloudier today. Usually we like to go to like a contemporary art museum. I couldn't find like a dedicated museum here. It's pretty cool. There's nobody here. This is great, especially after a uh, Bailey's coffee. By the way, we're filming a night out in Tbilisi tonight, so if you like those videos we do, that's coming next. If you've never seen that, we go out and we drink at a bunch of bars. My approach to those usually is to not drink all day. Uh, Pete's approach was to start really early. Morning. It's our last morning here in Tbilisi and it's a Saturday morning so we've come to the Dry Bridge Market. This market's open every day. I just figured it would be a nice thing to do on a Saturday. It's called Dry Bridge because there's a bridge over a street. It dried up. The river part here dried up a long time ago. And evidently markets like these were popular after the fall of the Soviet Union because people needed a way to make ends meet. So you can come here and get all sorts of antiques or Soviet memorabilia, things like that. What are you in the market for? Uh, some tools, some glassware, uh, straightening iron. Uh, it's a very eclectic mix going on it. I would like in the future to have like a kebabs grilling sticks. These are amazing. Look at that, like the stand that you could like keep them all on. We are finishing our time in Tbilisi as we started with a Jarian Kachapuri, except it's gonna taste even better today because uh, we had a few beers and cha-cha and wine and cocktails yesterday evening. Uh, if you want to see that, it'll be our next video. Uh, we also ordered lobiani, which is like a bean stuffed bread. It looks delicious. We're sitting on the river. The weather's amazing. I'm really sad to leave Tbilisi, but we are leaving today. We're flying to Thailand. Thank you for watching this video and let us know. Are you coming to Tbilisi? Have you been to Tbilisi? What did we miss? This definitely feels like a city that every time we go out, there, we've had no shortage of things to do. So I'm sure we missed loads and we didn't get to see anything other than Tbilisi. We should have gone out to the country. I don't know. I, Definitely want to return and to Georgia. Also, um, I also, I'm a on the And we're going to go to the airport on the one of our buses. And I'm not so. Goodbye. Love you so much. Kiss. We're going to go to an airport and a lounge. Goodbye. Love you so much. Come to Tbilisi. Definitely come to Tbilisi. Oh, that was a lovely kiss.